Good evening everybody, Keith Schweigert here for Lancaster Online, taking you through the results of the District 3 football playoffs. It was kind of carnage for the Lancaster Lebanon League in the first round, only two teams coming up with wins here on Friday night. Uh, Lancaster Catholic knocks off Boiling Springs impressively, 61-7 in Class uh, AA, and in Class AAA, Lampeter Strasburg, big over Northern York, 42-6. We'll get to those games in a little bit. Let's go to Quade, though, and run them down from the top, starting with the number one seed, Cumberland Valley. The Eagles knock off Dallas Town, 51-22. Elsewhere, in a game involving a Lancaster Lebanon League team, the number eight seed, Mannheim Township, falls in, I guess, what would be a slight upset. Southwestern knocks off the Blue Streaks, 42-35. Township had rallied to tie that game 28-28 after three quarters, but Southwestern got 14 in the fourth quarter to just seven for the Streaks. Township season ends with a 8-3 record. They fall in the first round. Elsewhere, Daniel Boone knocks off Chambersburg 21-20, or they will face Wilson. Wilson knocks off Penn Manor 38-17 in this one. Penn Manor led the game 7-0 early, but the, it was all Bulldogs from there as the Comets fall to Wilson for the second time in three weeks. Elsewhere, another Berks County team knocks off a Lancaster Lebanon League team as Hempfield falls to Governor Mifflin 35-7. Hempfield has 112 yards of total offense, four interceptions in this loss. David Clemens had three touchdown runs for Governor Mifflin. The Mustangs will get the winner of tomorrow's game between number seven seed Central York and Red Lion, the number 10 seed. That game at 7 p.m. tomorrow. Elsewhere in Quad A, Central Dolphin knocks off CD East 30 to nothing in the first round in that rivalry game. And the final quad A score is Cedar Cliff. They hold off Exeter 42-38. Moving on to triple A, where we have another Lancaster Lebanon League team involved at the top. Donegal, the number 16 seed, takes on Bishop McDevitt. The Indians were huge underdogs here, and the result of the game uh, plays that one out. McDevitt rolls 49-14. Brian Lamel, Rashad Lawson, and Andre Robinson each had two touchdowns for the top seed of Crusaders. Johnny Martin had a nice game and a losing effort for the Indians. He had 111 yards and a touchdown on 12 carries. That TD run was a 54-yarder. He also had 90 receptions or 90 reception yards on three catches. Uh, he scores a touchdown on a 66-yard pass play. So a great effort there for the Indians. Nice job getting into the playoffs, but they just ran into a buzzsaw in the first round. So McDevitt moves on. They get the they will get Conrad Weiser. Conrad Weiser knocks off Garden Spot 36 to eight. Uh, the Spartans, who finished third in Section 2, go down in the first round. Dan Pettis, 99 rushing yards and two touchdowns for Weiser in that one. And in the thriller of the night, at least for uh, games that LL League teams were involved in, Mannheim Central goes down 34-31 to Paul Myra in three overtimes. This, of course, was the game that I was blogging live from. This is just one of those games that the Barons have to be wondering how the heck they lost. They outgained Palmyra significantly, especially in the first half. Palmyra had 22 yards and one first down in the first half, but led at halftime 14 to 10. That's thanks to a 75-yard interception return for a touchdown and a 25-yard touchdown return of a blocked punt for Palmyra. They were up 14-10 at the half. It was 17-17 at the end of regulation. Uh, tough way for the Barons to lose. They fumble the ball on their third possession, and that set up the game-winning field goal for Palmyra. So Palmyra, in their first ever appearance in the District 3 playoffs, knocks off one of the district's most storied playoff programs, Mannheim Central. Palmyra gets Redland. Redland knocked off Hershey 42-41 in overtime. Elsewhere in AAA, another Lancaster Lebanon League team, one of the few that won, Lampeter Strasburg, rolls over Northern York, as I mentioned, 42-6. Jordan Groff had four touchdowns in this one, two rushing, one receiving, and also returned an interception for a score. Dan Neff added a pair of touchdown runs for the Pioneers. Northern had 173 yards and three turnovers. LS outgains them. Uh, they had 373 yards of offense, 272 yards on the ground. So up next for LS, they will face Shippensburg, who upended Greencastle Antrim 10-7 in the first round. Shippensburg is the 10 seed. LS will host to that game uh, Friday night at 7 o'clock in Lampeter. 
Elsewhere in AAA, West York knocks off Northeastern 14-7, and Susquehanna Township knocks off Dover in a shootout 45-40. Let's move on to Double A, where the top-seeded Lancaster Catholic Crusaders rolled over Boiling Springs, as I mentioned, 61-7. Sean Titus was a big player for Catholic in this one. He had four touchdowns, three receiving touchdowns. He also ran back an interception for a score. Crusaders were up 35-0 before Boiling Springs even had a first down. This game was never close, and uh, the Crusaders' mercy ruled their way into the second round. They should have a little bit tougher go of it here, though, in the semifinal round. They get a rematch with Trinity, whom they knocked off in week one in overtime, 34-29. The Shamrocks cruise in the first round. Actually, they were involved in a bit of a dogfight here. They knocked off the lone Catholic, 42-27. That was a back-and-forth game, but the Shamrocks pulled it out at the end. The other uh, Class 2A score from tonight, Bermudian Springs knocks off Schuylkill Valley, 47-21. Bermudian will get the winner of tomorrow's game between Wyomissing and Littlestown. That Wyomissing game, they're the three seed. Uh, Wyomissing plays that one at one o'clock. So there you have it. That's all the uh, playoff results for tonight. Be sure to check LancasterOnline.com for all your high school football needs. Thank you. Have a great weekend.